Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the 404 Show on this Tuesday, December 16th. My name is Jeff Bacalar, joined obviously by Ayaz Akhtar and Ariel Nunez howdy, in the control howdy. room. Uh, for her <laughs> last video appearance, I thought it would be most fitting to have the lovely Shannon Cook on the program. How are you, Shannon and Cook? And for me to be very shiny. How about that? I'm glad you took advantage <laughs> of your last video opportunity on the 404. I thought, we're going out with some bedazzling. <laughs> it's really like a shimmering effect that I'm mm -hmm. getting from you. You could sit me on top of a Christmas tree. All right. But please we'll do, don't. That's, that's what we'll do at the end of the show. Yeah. Oh, really? What do you say? It seems uncomfortable. It does sound a little uncomfortable. Let's school first. Do okay. that. That's quite all right. So how have you been? I've been great, yeah. thank you, yeah. Fantastic. Family doing you? well, everything's doing great. Kids are great, husband's great, Excellent. I'm great, everyone's great. And how about you, Mr. I, family man? You know, I'm, I'm feeling it. Like, I, you know, I was talking before, I don't think I'm really going to start freaking out to like February. Right. Uh, so I'll, let, let me hang out for like two more months. There's no need to freak out. It's all going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it? Sure. Isn't it? It's it's quite the miracle. Don't scare me because... <laughs> what are you going to do, freak out? No, leave. You can't change your mind, That would be though. freaking it's, out. It's one of those things that once you start going down that road, there is no turning back. Right. Especially at this point. Right. <laughs> like, we're too, we're too pot committed here <laughs> mm -hmm. to, 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 to turn back. You were talking before, like about lying. Like when the kids lie to you a lot when they're like three, four, right? They My, mine's just started lying around. Just started lying. Four and a half. When can I start to talk to him like I talk to other people? Pretty much straight away. Really? I highly recommend that. You didn't do the baby talk thing that like, seems like no. every mom does. Like, oh hi, it's so cute. It's like I didn't do that either. No, I didn't do that. I just spoke like me, and mm -hmm. I think it served as well. You think so? Yeah, she's four and she's ready to enter college. <laughs> wow, all right. <laughs> no, no, I, I mean, I, I, each to their own. When you have a little baby, you can't help sometimes kind of talking mm -hmm. a little bit like sure. this, but, but when they start conversing themselves, no, I, I drop the baby talk straight away. Yeah, you're like, get it together. Yeah, right. You know, stop drooling <laughs> and let's get down to business. It's like, what did that wah mean? Just tell me. Right. Just tell me what that meant. Use your words. <laughs> you're six and a half months old. <laughs> um, all right. FYI, they don't speak at six months old. Oh, fact, that's right. They, they talk when they're 15. They babble a lot. They ba when do they start talking? It's amazing how quickly you forget Is it this one? Stuff. Oh, no, they walk when they're one? Yes. God, they're Usually. worthless. <laughs> right no, from the get -go. no, it's good that they're worthless because then you can put them down and take a break. Because once they start moving around on their own, you're like, where did it go? Right, where did it go? I'm just going to attach a helium or, balloon. Or where did he go? Yeah. <laughs> or where did she go? Yeah. I like I'm just going to attach a helium balloon to Because it's like a little, it's a gelatinous monster a thing yeah. for a while. It's not like yeah. a, it doesn't smile for a couple of months. So it just kind of looks at you and you're like, I just, you feedback. Know what, you know what I'm anticipating for the first, like, you know, First day till like six months is just like me being like, nah, like this glob of bones and meat. Do you know what do I do with it? No, nah. no, 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 no. It's <laughs> you are gonna be so in love with that little blob. Yeah. That little sack of uselessness. Yeah. yeah you will yeah, be you so, so in love with it. All right. That yes. I think the jury's still out on that one. No, no, no. no. It, It'll hit you. It's like uh, it's. I always thought of it like. How it's very powerful. Oh, I'm sure when it comes out and it's all disgusting, I'm gonna be like, oh, let me. It's like a it. life meter that you get like in a video game, but like when this kid shows up, it grows, and you're like, I didn't know I could care. Yeah. About something yeah, until then. I keep other hearing other that. than myself. Yeah. yeah. Keep hearing that. I'm a pretty selfish dude. <laughs> the, the life meter will grow just a tiny bit. If I'm starting I'll... to feel worried for this child. Are you? How Are about you, you Ayaz? No. No, it's, it's all going to be lovely. And most of that's there, jokes. So. Most of that is joking. I know. Most yeah. of it. Okay. Most of it. We, we hope so. Like 10% of it. <laughs> um, all right, before I'm excited we... for you. I think it's going to be fantastic. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to meet that. your little, little baby boy. It'll definitely happen, and thank you very much. Uh, and your book really helped my wife. I want oh, to nice. tell you that on the air. So. Oh, thank you. Um, so thank you for doing that. You can that. read it, too. It might help you as I well. I might. I got a couple yeah. like, dude, you're going to be a dad, bro, by like, Books you know, right. Jeff Spicoli. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we'll see how that works. Um, um, before we wrap up the year that was 2014 in music, right. I want to show everyone this ridiculous video that I just came across this morning. It's called Hedis. It's a German sport that combines ping pong with soccer. 
Oh my God. So uh, if you're not watching the video, which you won't be forever, starting tomorrow, <laughs> uh, <laughs> these guys are heading the ball uh, like uh, like a ping pong ball. And they're using a small soccer ball on the thing. Can you maximize that, Ayas? Can we get people to see it? Uh, so yeah, this is insane. It's a German sport where men and women compete and they just use their heads to knock a small soccer ball across a ping pong table. So it is a soccer ball. It's not a lightweight. Oh man, she's they're, really the, ramming that They're amazing. That thing. These people are amazing and they like seem it's the same ferociousness as you get in a ping pong game. Like that same speed. Yeah. And they're jumping belly first onto the table to like slam it. Which is crazy. How many brain cells are they killing off, do you I, think? I don't know, but like, look at that. These guys are no... Look at these. Whoa. <laughs> he's, he's just like frog dives onto the... I'm onto thinking the like thing whiplash, there. your neck's gonna yeah. hurt. And like, yeah, like, I, I want to see like the first permanent paralysis. The guy who this. just like misses and smacks <laughs> the table. Yeah, like who's... Someone's done that before. There's a lot of edges to this a ping like, pong table. This is a game that you'd see between seals, not uh, not humans. Yeah, right. And these guys are putting I, backspin and topspin on it. Anyway. I can safely say I will never play that. No. Ping pong's mm -hmm. great. Never Soccer's never. great. Maybe they don't play that. I will never together. play that. Okay. Ever, 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 never. All right. I agree. <laughs> and uh, I want to hear if anyone I'm too out there... shiny for that sport. <laughs> too shiny? Maybe yeah. currently in your current wardrobe. <laughs> no, everything is shiny now. Everything is shiny. Heard. Second you give birth, everything's shiny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, You're just a shiny, happy person from here on out. Doesn't matter if you've only slept for two hours. You, you're shiny. You begin you're shiny lot, you from begin lack a lot of sleep. sleep. You begin a lot of sleep lately. Oh, yeah, now. Now you're fine. Yeah, first, first five, six months, not Forget so much. It. All right. Who sleeps for the dead anyway? All right. Yeah, exactly. Um, let's wrap up the year in music. Yeah. Spotify had a very, obviously, uh, massive year. We did. Continue we... to make ridiculous amounts of uh, money with <laughs> subscriptions and stuff like that, right? Absolutely. And we we streamed 7 billion hours of music in 2014, which, right, which is a lot. I That's mean, a lot. You say that number and you can't, it doesn't it doesn't even you do it justice. can't imagine it, no. Because you can't wrap your head around how and much music And I tried when I was in the shower... Um, I tried doing some mathematical equations and I was trying to break it down. Like, how many songs is that? You were doing Dubai, billion by, math in the... Uh... four. And, oh, it was just getting silly. Right. It's, it's a massive, massive number. A massive, massive amount of, of, of streaming. Massive, massive amount of listening. And, I, and playlist creation was also really impressive. More than 730 million playlists were created by all our listeners. I'm learning, I'm learning that I think... That for Spotify, I think playlists were a very big year because this yes. was the first year where, you know, not that I noticed they were a thing. I kind of realized that uh, early on. But the fact that people – something changed maybe in the mm -hmm. software where it was that much more accessible right. and people sort of got it. And I think yeah. that clicked in 2014. I think also what we saw this year was a sort of trend emerging where instead of gravitating towards, say, one playlist – one day on a given day or, or listening to say one or two different albums on a day, particular day, we're finding that people are matching music to various moments throughout right. the day. So they have a playlist for their morning commute. Mm -hmm. They have a playlist for their workout sure. for, before work. They have a playlist for some focus time, right. you know, maybe some classical music when they're at work. And yeah, I had my shower playlist, the ones I sing along to. Yes. Really? Not, I like to sing in the shower. So yeah. like, I'm going to make sure that the songs I know the lyrics to, because I also right. use the app, I think it was Music Match or something. Right. So I could see the lyrics before and go, okay, now I know the lyrics. Sing it in the shower real loud. My neighbors don't really so like it. So you rehearse the songs before you get oh, in the I'll shower. Listen. I'll listen to songs. Fascinating. I'm not like, oh yeah, you, you hear me in my cubicle. I'm constantly singing. I don't. I don't sit near you, but I could, I've I'll heard. I'll be loud. I'll project. Tales of your, of your karaoke have traveled well, we, far and wide. We do have a lot of um, singing, what a playlist on Spotify called right. Songs to Sing in the Shower. Mm. And what we find is they're usually guilty Guilty pleasure songs. Oh, I you mean, know, like, how many like times can it be don't Journey? Stop yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was just say, <laughs> the don't longest stop. shower ever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want to know is when you and maybe you don't know the answer to this. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. The, the, you go on to like this the playlists or whatever it is. There's like moods. Mm -hmm. You know, that, when you open up Spotify, there's like a billion moods, like right. ch uh, you know, chill mode and party mode. Mm -hmm. who, who curates that? We have a team of curators at yeah. Spotify who, who work 
day and night right. on those playlists. Think and I could get a gig doing that? It sounds like a fun gig, doesn't it? I know. It? Like, Let's I would see, love I'll to do, like, I, the punk rock one. I'll send some emails. If you scroll all the way down, like, <laughs> way past everything, there's, like, metal and punk rock. Right. So, I, yeah, let me get that. But we did, we did find this year that the, this, I mean, users love creating their own sp- playlists for yeah, sure yeah. you know and that's the personal nature of music these days you want to feel like your own dj but we did find that all the spotify curated playlists were, were really really popular sure like the most popular in each sort of broken down genre like workout playlists we have some workout playlists for cardio for running mm-hmm. that are very specific and that that streamed really really in high numbers right yeah it's pretty cool. It would be I, a good job, though. I, I think so, right? Yeah, I feel fun. like you wouldn't get away with just doing that, though. Like, you'd also have there to like, other deliver the mail. There are things to do. <laughs> you know? Like, they would right. just be like, all right, you do the pop. And rock. now you got the three hours of Nickelback duty. Oh. There you go. <laughs> that poor soul must get triple overtime pay. Do you know what I just learned recently, though? Somebody asked me... Um, how many playlists you can actually create mm. like is there a limit and i wasn't sure so i checked with with some some people at work and and sure enough you can make as many playlists as you like there's absolutely no limit however there is a song limit per playlist oh really hmm. yeah do you know, wanna know do you want to know what the song limit is i do now that you've teased it like that 50,000 songs oh, man. you cannot have more than 50,000 songs well, in one stingy. playlist yeah why is I it know. so limited i know i was so disappointed in my my yeah. company how long, that one. how long would it take you to listen to i want to a 7.5 billion hour playlist yeah. <laughs> just for <laughs> myself <laughs> just for the year well some of the, some people make their playlists very very long i'm a fan of like 20 songs, okay. you know, which is like about the, an hour a and a half, yeah. an hour and a half of listening. And that's, that's a good amount of time for me. But some people go for like five hours, 12 hours. Sure. And I just feel like you probably never get to the bottom half. You probably, because re- when you go back to re-listen to a playlist, you usually start from the beginning. So probably playing the first 10 songs a lot, mm-hmm. not really getting to the bottom 400. Right. <laughs> you know? are, you a, are, you, are you guys like shuffle people like me? I'm no, a I'm not a shuffler. You're no. not? See, no. I think that tells a lot about someone. Oh, really? Well, what does that tell you about I don't me, know. Dear? I don't know, but my wife is the same way. So in my car... Maybe that I'm a control freak. I mean, that's probably like 70% of it. Whereas you're more go with the flow. Maybe. Well, I'm a control uh, freak, but I... But you're a shuffle, shuffle guy. See, mm-hmm. in in my car, I have a little USB stick, or or we'll listen to Spotify, and um, I have a little USB <laughs> with like 32 gigs of music on it. I pop it in, and I just go pfft, random. Right. Like, I want to hear th- a couple thousand songs. And she like freaks out. She's like, what are you doing? Without order, there is chaos. Yeah. We need to listen to, you know, Oh, so maybe Z. it's a sex sex thing. I don't women, know. It's a small sample size. I wonder, <laughs> I wonder if there is something to that. Women prefer to not shuffle. Yeah. Guys prefer to, like, a bit of spontaneity sure. with their experience. It's, it's you know, maybe it's just that I'm such a badass living on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> that must be it. Could You're be. Absolutely right. Before we get into the the most streamed artists of the year, mm-hmm. right, you have a list. I, sure. do, I did want to talk about a bit of controversy that hit Spotify this year in sure. the vein of uh, Taylor Swift. Right. So, who, number one, who is she? <laughs> <laughs> and number two... She's rather popular. See, I don't... Maybe I'm just... I don't want to say the O word, like I'm getting old, but I mm-hmm. just don't really understand who she is. Okay. So, A, who is she? She's a very, very popular musician. Right. She's had a really amazing year. Right. She started out uh, in Nashville mm-hmm. um, writing... She's, oh, wait, she was, writes her songs. She's so was a, she the girl that Kanye West like? Yes. Yeah. Uh, was a dick sort of to? Belittled at um, what was it? The MTV Video yeah, Music Awards. And right. Not cool. Obama called him a jerk or something yeah. like that. It was mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, cool. because of that. No. So what she's, happened she's with her? She's sort of been America's sweetheart right. for for a while. Oh, um, right. And she's like the the New York ambassador for. For nothing, right? I don't know. I thought that you were going that. somewhere somewhere else with that. Since she's like famous for like breaking up with lots of guys. Nope, well, not where I was she's going. She's kind of famous for that too. Yeah. Learning about that. Songs I don't are know about, about the ambassador thing. Was it I she? Know if that was part maybe Ariel yeah. can shine some light on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's ambassador and coined the terms like 
bodega and or something she like that. Coined, the, not coined it, but you know she was defining it for popularizing people. Popularizing it. Yeah, it's it's stupid. She she started out in country. Okay. She was she was kind of a country pop crossover, and then um, the album she released this year called 1989. Is that her birth year? When she was born. That um, that was her first straight up pop album. Okay. So she's kind of abandoned the whole country element, and she's just going all out. Pop. I wonder why she did but that. Why'd she turn her back on country? I don't know. But as you know, she also turned her back on Spotify, which I assume oh. is why we're now talking about Taylor right. Swift. And yeah, she did in fact um, remove all her music from from Spotify, which which was really disappointing. And um, we love her. We love her music, and a lot of our listeners love her too. So. Sure. It was very disappointing for them. They woke up one Monday morning and all their Taylor Swift songs were, had vanished from their playlists. Um, so we hope that, we're hopeful that one day she'll come back and she'll embrace streaming music. Um, it's interesting just mm -hmm. how, like, and it's not just her, there's other artists that have done this, mm -hmm. where I think it's just a lot of, like, uncharted territory and exactly. people don't exactly know what the right thing to do is yeah. even if whether or not there is a right thing to do well the i mean the music business is always evolving when you think about it it's been in a state of transition pretty much since it came to be and and we understand that when something's changing dramatically and it, and the music business has changed particularly dramatically over the last few years. Totally. There are going to be people who are resistant to right. the, the new new cool thing, which at the moment uh, we believe is streaming. Totally. Um, but, you know, for every artist who is perhaps a little resistant, there are a hundred who have embraced it and who right. love it. And we have a lot of artists who actually come into our New York um, headquarters and they perform for us. Mm -hmm. They they're thrilled to be on Spotify. And emerging artists are particularly into it because they see that it's a great way to break. Absolutely, uh, to get it out there. Yeah, I, I, like last year, Lord, who I sound like a broken record, no, so to speak, talking about career. Lord. <laughs> you, I mean, I personally I, did not, but all you the, definitely helped. I didn't know about her, and then you came well, on it, the show, and well, it was six all really later. Spotify listeners. They yeah. were very early adopters of her song Royals, and um, shared it a lot amongst their friends. And so we started paying attention and bubbled up that way. Another example of an artist who had enjoyed that kind of a year was Hoja. Um, Hosier? Hosier, or Hosier. He's, he seems to have a few different ways of pronouncing his name, depending on <laughs> the country of the person you're talking to. But um, he, this time last year, I was sitting here, although the desk was on the other side of this, <laughs> right. this whole mm -hmm. room. Yes. I, I sat here and I was talking about this guy. He's an Irish singer with a massive, booming voice, mm -hmm. which kind of fills every corner of the room when he sings. And I was talking about him as someone that we had our eyes on and we felt like he was going to be a big deal in 2014. And lo and behold, um, our listeners started sharing his, his lead single, uh, like Gangbusters, and this week, it took nearly a whole year, but this week he is the most streamed artist in the world hmm. on wow. Spotify. Um, so you're welcome. <laughs> I was say, like, a lot of artists have uh, uh, have a lot to give thanks to. Okay, let's get to the specifics of of the most streamed people this year, the end of year sort of stuff. Sure. Let's get into it. Well, first of all, the most streamed track of the year. This is where know? I get upset. But you go will on. get upset. You're already upset. I can tell. It's I not going to make you happy. The song is happy. Oh, okay. well, I don't I mean, hate that song. Yeah. There's no reason to hate that song. I don't dislike Pharrell. Like, I like him. I don't mm -hmm. like his hat, but I like... <laughs> you actually have an issue with his hat? Uh, yeah. It's ridiculous. Because every pop star... They dress normally, it, but like everything, <laughs> Pharrell's got like great style, like everything. But about, the signature hat, anyway. Uh, uh, Ario, I mm -hmm. need, I need like a second opinion on on the hat. hat? Yeah, I, I dig the hat. You Any, like the hat? Anything that's pushing like it's, boundaries, I'm with it, man. But like he, it. but it's a cowboy hat. It's not really <laughs> like he Ranger invented hat. it. Looks it. like uh, the thing that the guy with Yogi Bear would wear. It's like if Lord showed up the next concert wearing an eye patch, <laughs> and everyone <laughs> like would be like, "All right, now eye patch is our <laughs> thing." <laughs> Right? It seems kind of... Yeah, I'm cool with it. You're cool with yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, I Michael Jackson hat. had a glove that looked like your shirt, and it worked. I know, but he was the king of pop. Okay. 
you don't mess with Michael Jackson. Okay. Pharrell's pretty important, <laughs> though. For sure. Pretty key He's behind guy. pretty much every major pop song. But this right? song, okay, I think this song's popularity didn't have anything to do with the hat. No, not at all. I'm just the commenting song, on, a, a, on an, an aesthetic. The song, if, you, if you'll cast your minds back to the very beginning of the year, which is so hard to do, isn't it, as we're heading Especially towards music. the end. Yeah. Um, Happy was inescapable for the first three to four months of the year. It was just absolutely See, everywhere. And it I, spawned all those music videos. Right. Uh, copycat I put, videos. I put that song up with the Frozen song though, where it's just Let like, it go. oh my god, stick needles in my ears. <laughs> if I, I cannot listen to this goddamn song anymore. Well, you're lucky you're having a boy. It just felt not a girl, like because you would that song would be very much in your future. But that song just felt very like it's a I'm not, it's a catchy song, but mm. it's not for us. It's it felt like it was a kid's song. It is a, a kid's kid song. song. So then you were right. But like I would I would like pull up to a traffic light and like look across and there's like some tough dude, like some rough dude, and he's listening Singing. to Happy. And I'm just like, oh. what the? F I'm not Maybe he likes Despicable Me too. That's where I heard it the first time. Yes. Like that's a pretty catchy song. And then it blew up, and I was like, oh. Wow. Oh yeah, you you knew it back when. Well huh? yeah, I did way back when because my son's like, let's watch this with the Minions, and I'm like, oh cool. But right. then the song got bigger. It's a song that resonated with so many people from kids, from toddlers, like your, your, your kid, my kid. Uh, parents loved it. Older people loved it. it, it everybody liked it. I know. It's and it just was the so, greatest thing ever. It was so uplifting and positive. It's the wonder I, bread of pop music. We're going to move on now. Well, you know what? I'll be we're just, wait, wait, real quick. We're before just we move on. We're going to go around and circle. Hold on. Real right. quick. What? You know what upset me about that song? What? Not of how popular it got, not of how catchy or like earwormy that song it got. It was that you weren't invited to dance on the video. No, not at all, because I would have gladly declined. But listen, <laughs> well, my whole thing was like, even after all that popularity, it like, and after you thought it was over, you're like, okay, finally, we can get back to business. Mm -hmm. It shows up in like 35 commercials in a row. And you're like, we're not going <laughs> to let you get away with it that quick. I'm sorry. Anyway, what's next? Katy Perry was the world's her. most streamed female. Good for her. And she She's uns catchy. she catchy. is catchy. She unseated Rihanna. She doesn't Rihanna write her stuff though, right? She doesn't write her own stuff, does she? Uh, I think I'm there's a bit of there's a bit of co-writing going Perry. on. Just saying. But I think what's been key to her success on Spotify particularly is um she had two big songs. Yeah. One of them was Dark Horse. And Dark Horse was massive on Spotify and I think because it has a dance beat. Anything you can dance to right. tends to do well these days. Right, like, it doesn't like, matter if you're a rap artist, doesn't matter if you're a rock artist or a pop sure. artist. Mm -hmm. Throw in a bit of an electronic dance music beat with the chorus. And every dorm in America will be playing your song Everyone's Thursday, Friday, Friday shimmying, Saturday night. Yeah. Shimmying in their shim Look, you almost completely missed out, Ariel, oh, yeah. <laughs> on my little shimmy. Yeah, I missed the shimmy. Yeah, can we get that as no, a gift made? No, please don't. Right away, please. <laughs> gift. Or do. Um, all right. Uh, let's move I, on, though, because I know you're not a huge Katy Perry fan. Coldplay. Go on. <laughs> Coldplay was our most um, streamed band or group hmm. of 2014. They had a, they released their sixth album. What was their Chris big song? Chris Martin is now saying, A Sky Full of Stars was their big song. And again, that song had a really strong dance beat through the chorus, which it's a great song. How does it go? Dun-dun-dun. Oh, God. dun 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 is that the one oh, with like... Oh, come on, I'm not going to sing it. Is that the one that sounds like the U2 Sky, song? Well... Sky falls in the, that's what, that's what he sounds like. Yes. He's always like... Ha, ha. Pretty good. Right? That's yeah. pretty good. That, yeah. was, yeah. that was impressive. Clocks is the only song I think they made that was okay. Clocks is pretty, like yellow? pretty banging. I liked Yellow. Yellow had that I one go? Yellow. That one was like what? And they were all yellow. Chris, yeah. Martin, Chris Martin has been quoted as suggesting that Coldplay are going to retire, that they're... They're making. Oh, they're no. current. Oh, oh no! <laughs> they're currently. No more play. They're currently working on their next album, and there were there've been a couple of reports that it may be their last. I don't believe it. But, okay. Um, well, we'll just have to. I'll just have to wait. We'll just have see. to have many sleepless nights. <laughs> Eminem, the most streamed artist in the U.S. Really? Yeah. Of anybody. Yep. Eminem. Eminem in the U.S. I find that surprising. I think. Do you? Yeah. I find it surprising for one reason. You know, our core demographic, I guess you could say, on Spotify is very young. Right. You're talking about sort of 25 under 25. Yeah. And here's a dude who's been making music for almost 20 years now. He's That's in his crazy. 40s. Yeah. I think he's about 41. You can tell. 
And he is, even though a lot of these, our listeners on Spotify didn't grow up with him, you can tell. That's well, no, nice. just like, you know, he's <laughs> like, it's aged him a little bit. Well, Not, he's, he's no worse for the wear. Like Marshall Mathers LP is a great record, man. That's. That's like brings me back to high school. I can't believe that's twenty years now. It's almost it's, twenty. He's been years. doing this for twenty years. Right? Do you, did About you like that record, years. Ario? Yeah, for sure. It's an amazing record. Yeah. 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 What was he had that one song about mushrooms? I don't know about the mushrooms. Yeah, that was a bunch of songs. A lot of songs. <laughs> about mushrooms. It was just really good stuff. Yeah, well, what's interesting? Too. What's interesting too about the fact that he's our most streamed artist this year is he didn't actually have an album come out this year. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's why it's his great. album came out at the end of last year. Um, but he had some big songs. He had Monster, which features Rihanna. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves Rihanna. Uh, you got this huge back catalog, too, there. So, like, you, oh, once you yeah. get into Eminem, you start listening to, like, you're everything. Like, oh, man. You're like, this yeah. guy can actually go. And yeah. You yeah, you're like, one, maybe I should the next one. go back a little bit. Yeah, well, I mean, lyrically, he's like an acrobat. Totally. He's a lyrical acrobat. You listen to to what he does, and it, it, it blows your mind. And right. You can forget about it. You can sort of forget about him if he hasn't been in the news or he hasn't released it's been a while since he's released something but then you go back and you listen and you're like how the hell does he do that That's it's amazing it's really impressive it doesn't make sense how fast he speaks no yeah it's pretty no. crazy uh okay do you want to know the most popular most streamed song in the u.s it's not an eminem song i thought it was happy no that was in the world oh planet earth i'm gonna say Mo it's a Katy perry song no. It's no one we've we've uh, mentioned yet? It's a fancy song. So Iggy it's Azalea. It's a fancy song. Yeah. yeah. Sweet hint, Shannon. <laughs> Sorry, I could have done better. Yeah, I made the edge of my seat because I'm like, what is it? Because I don't remember this song. What should I have? What when should that, my hint have been? I don't know. I really don't know. She comes from a place where we all talk like this? Yeah, that would have been... That would have been better? You could, Is that how you really talk? No. And you're just like, oh. <laughs> no, I'm putting it on. Oh, the anger. Because I think that's awesome. I yeah. know we're always fixated on your accent. But it comes when, back. It comes back if I'm surrounded by Aussies. I bet if you have a couple drinks, it comes out more, no, too. No, not really. No? no. All right. Well, that's for next show. When when did that song <laughs> come out? Yeah, the non-video version, Yeah, that's right. when we'll start having fun. When did that, when did that song that come song out? That song came out at the end of the spring, and it blew up over the summer. It was it was one of the songs of the summer. We really didn't have a standout <laughs> song of the summer this yeah. year. Look, people are waving to us. We, wait, we didn't have a song... Of the summer? Wasn't we that the that talking Cal about the summer? <laughs> does every every impersonation he does sound like, like Kermit, Kermit the, the Frog? frog. Yeah. Yes, Calvin Harris had the most streamed song of the summer, which was the song called Summer. However, when you really look at what song you heard, right. what songs you heard when you went shopping. When it all were, just mushes into the same kind of garbage. To me, there we wasn't were. really a standout. Yeah. But Iggy Azalea's song was definitely I like how definitely up there. My fa I don't love the song, but I like how it starts. It starts as if there's like something funny just happened, you know, like <laughs> right. like up oh, you drop the glass. It's like boom, 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 and you're it's almost like an interlude to Seinfeld, <laughs> you right. know, where you're just right. like, oh, here we go. People love it, and I, I don't think know. I think one of the things that really drove this song though was the hook, which. Yeah. Interestingly enough, isn't actually sung by Iggy. It's sung what? by uh, the UK performer Charlie XCX. She sings it, and oh, she, she sounds does. a little bit like um, Gwen Stefani. She I thought. does. That's she what has I a, thought it was. I was hey, I for the longest time, Charlie people XCX did think a little bit. she's pretty rough. She's cool. Well, so and her song "Boom Clap." She was right on uh, Saturday Night Live. Yeah. And I, you know, she's she very pleasing impressive. to watch. But that wasn't why I liked her. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't mute it, you know, like, <laughs> I, mean, I, I thought it was a band and I was digging the band. Right. And the all female band I was really digging, but you're saying she's a solo artist? Yeah, she, she's also written. She's kind of like a, a little, like, she's got like a little like poppy kind of punk thing going on. Yeah. No, she's, she's tough. Yeah. Which is she's why young. she. She's like 22, right? She's very young, which is why she, she, she sang in, in much the same way as she sort of guessed it on Iggy's song, Fancy. She sang on Icona Pop's song, I Don't Care. I don't that care. One I know. Yeah, let's that not talk about it. that okay, anymore. Fine. Okay, fine. <laughs> gonna... Wait, but she, but her believe... song, Boom Clap, I really yeah. like. And for some reason, and this is really dorky and embarrassing, for a while I kept saying Boom Clap at the end of everything. 
Oh, like oh. nailed like, it. Like Danny would say, Danny would say, "Oh, Sky just said her first word," and I'd go, "Boom, clap!" Right. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. Yeah, that certainly sounds like it. Well, I'm joking. He's very nice today. Isn't oh, he? he's, he's like of, this all the time. I'm he's allowed... kind of cranky. No, no, no. I'm, no, I'm totally getting. I'm, I am acting on, like I'm excited. I no, brought the did. shimmer. Feel the shimmer. shimmer. Can't you feel? I'm it? acting excited about the happy song. Okay, so okay. cut me some This slack. is really, really a reach for you. All right, Wait, let's talk uh, but about. But I'm kind of blown away that the uh, Charlie sang the fancy chorus hook. Right. No, That's it crazy. wasn't Iggy. Iggy. Yeah. Iggy does all the rapping. Huh. I'm yet to hear Iggy really sing actually. Um, but let's talk about the most streamed artist okay. in the world on 2014, because we haven't even gotten to him yet. Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Crickets. No idea. Uh, oh, that's the, the, um, the redhead oh. kid. Yeah. With the tattoos. <laughs> yes. Oh, the guy from the Victoria's Secrets thing. He's very... Yes, he did. I feel like he's what... Remember Dashboard Confessional? Yes. Like Chris Caraba, I feel mm -hmm. like he's what Chris Caraba wanted to ultimately be. Well, he's pretty much nailing it. He's essentially like a yeah. redhead emo kind of dude. It's not I emo; say it's more emo. poppy. He's, what but it's acoustic, like, right? Most of his stuff's acoustic. He's he's a really impressive performer, in if you ask me. In that he is a soloist in the true sense of soloist. He. He gets up on a stage and he can fill an arena yeah. with fans. And he loops and his stuff, right? Yeah, and yeah. it's just him and yeah. his guitar. There's no backup band. Yeah, There's no one else. And if you really think about it, that's hard. That's totally to command that audience and to have every single eyeball looking straight at you. Right. You know, cool. you've, there's no, you can't go over to the drummer and be like, meh, meh, meh. Yeah. <laughs> you, That's it's, it. It's all you. It's him and 40,000 people. For a whole show. What's to, amazing. And, he, and he, his performances are just, he just gives it his absolute all. Yeah. And every song is, is beautiful and rich. And I, I don't know. I, I'm impressed. I'm really thrilled that he had a good year. I wouldn't necessarily seek his stuff out. It's not my cup of tea really but mm -hmm. i totally respect what he's doing more so for the fact that he does this amazing like looping yes. stuff yes yeah where he'll play he'll I basically I play never like, understand how musicians do that it yeah, just seems i mean like, like reggie watts does it a lot too yeah. where like you just take you know you basically record stuff and then play it back ariel yeah. probably knows the most about that stuff than we do but yeah. it's amazing have you ever seen this yeah. ed sheeran guy do that no stuff, i haven't yeah, it's pretty impressive. Challenge and he, we, we actually predicted that this album, he released an album uh, earlier this year, I think it was in August actually, and it was called Multiply. Mm. And we predicted this would be the album that brought him a wider audience. And, and it really did. It right. resonated on both sides of the Atlantic. And he had a hit song, a sort of an unexpected surprise hit song, I guess you could say, a couple of years ago called The A-Team. It was an acoustic sounding song and it did surprisingly well on the charts and I think he thought well I know he thought because he has said that he thought right <laughs> that okay well if if I could do that well in the US with sort of that song let's really blow the doors off this thing and yeah. see what we can do and he actually um, for the lead single on this new album he brought in Pharrell uh, who was wearing the hat Sorry to say. He's always wearing that hat. And he he had a song that's a little bit more playful than than we were used to with, with him. He's kind of always been a bit sensitive, you yeah. know, wears his heart on his sleeves. Yeah, the ladies really like him emo. as a result. He's just like an, ev yeah. an emo evolution. When I when you say emo though, I think of sort of thrashing. Me well a bit more thrashing. I wouldn't It's different. Like when I grew up emo was like it was definitely hard rock, but it was like basically dudes crying about their girlfriend <laughs> and well, that's definitely ed sheeran yeah. yeah i mean that's really like the cure would have mm -hmm. been labeled emo yeah you know or the smiths or morrissey all that all would have been emo if there was such a thing well i urge you to check him out and last week was interesting you mentioned that was it last week that the victoria's secret fashion mm -hmm. thing or was it the week before a couple of weeks ago uh, in london mm -hmm. um you know you've really made it when you're invited to perform on that show yeah. and Ed, Ed Sheeran was there performing doing his thing with his guitar and so was Hozier the Irish singer who I told you about a year ago but you didn't believe me would um, would make it yeah but kind of like made stuff it. that are on, to, under the bus we're like whatever Shannon okay <laughs> right but you were right and we were wrong once again <laughs> No. So where's no. Uh, where's uh, is he British Ed Sheeran? Where's he Ed from? Ed Sheeran's from the UK. Yep, he's twenty three. Uh, they're so young. That's yeah, so and a lot of 
actually this year we saw a lot of success from UK artists. Right. A lot of them crossing the pond and doing really, really well here. And there's one artist who I want to mention who we think is this time next year, everyone's going to know who he is. Um, I mean, you have the data. You're probably right. He's well. There's not a whole lot of data to go on by now. Okay. At this but, point, but Spotify can can predict. Trends. We can predict the future. You basically on all can. Fronts. Well, you've been right the whole time. You, Let's yeah. find out what it is. Yeah, who is it? Who's going to be this time? It is year? a gentleman named James Bay. James Bay. James Bay. He's from the UK, and you will love him. Do you know why? Because uh, he has a, a hat. He has he's, a great song. He does yeah. have a hat. In that picture, he does. Let me see. He has a great song, and guess what the song's called? Uh. Jeff's the man. Let it go. <laughs> no, he but couldn't come up with a better. Like, it's possibly an unfortunate yeah, name. We can add it. You can change it now. No nah, one knows about late. it. Nah, too late. But it's a beautiful song. He's kind of uh, has a really soulful voice. I dig that. And he won um, the British. I always get the name of this award wrong. The British Critic Choice Awards. He was given that prize mm -hmm. and that is um, a very coveted uh, prize and artists who got that early in their careers went on to have phenomenal success like Adele and this time last year Sam Smith um, was the recipient of that where that award where, that's uh, where is Adele Adele where'd she go you seen her? You seen her on Spotify? I haven't seen her. We haven't chatted lately. Seen her around the office? There are rumors that she's actually working on an album and it was, some believe that it was going to come out by the end of this year, but it looks like it might be next year. Okay. We'll see. Cool. Great, great singer. You like Adele? Uh, I think I do. <laughs> I think he does. You should I ask do. yourself this. She, her, her, it's hard not to love that voice. Yeah. Her songs are so cosmically sad, mm -hmm. but, but amazing at the same time. Like, what's, the one, what's the one that... Whenever I play it, my husband's like, T turn it off. It's just too Turn it off. Sad. It's too sad. Uh, you Never know. mind, I'll find so someone like you. Yeah, I mean that. Listen to the Frog when you really that. listen like to the you. lyrics, yeah. you, you, it's hard to feel someone happy. Like you. That's what it's you have to play Pharrell's Happy immediately after if you want to oh, That's the just mood. too much of a It's too silly. That's silly. Is there like a playlist for getting out ear, ear worms like that? There must be one, right? Like yeah. down. There's a playlist for everything. You can search Chihuahua. There are playlists that people to create play for their Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas. Have you heard about the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inductees? Green Day? Yeah, Green Day, the Lou Reed. You yeah, great. Great that Lou Reed's going in. I mean, it's a shame he's not, in he's yet. not around. And um, I didn't realize Green Day was, like, eligible. I thought you had to, like... Well, we what talked are the, about this 20, 30 years now, what right? What are the requirements, though? You have to have been making music for, what's the number of years? Is it 10? It's got to be at least, I mean, I know Green Day, I think 20? their first record was 90. Okay, so it could 89, be. 89, maybe? Maybe it's 20 years. Yeah. That's crazy. Maybe it's it 25. 10 years. 10 years isn't long 25 enough. years after the release of their first record. Right, okay, there you go. Okay, so 25. then they are eligible. How God, old are they all now? Uh, early 40s. Okay, well. I, you know, Good for them. I mean, doesn't yeah. spell the end of no, Green Day. No, of course Day. not. I just, I'm, I guess I'm kind of proud of them in a weird way. As you did, you know, getting their first big break. and No, because I just, you, you know, Green Day, like we've had a lot of discussions. Did I miss something? When Justin used to be on the show, he'd talk a lot of shit about Green Day. Why? He just, you know, I don't know. He just didn't like them for whatever reason. And I was just like, I don't know. They kind of changed a lot of things for me when I was a kid. And just to see them like grow up and be this popular and in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which I can't well, tell is like that, if it's a big achievement or not. Well, wasn't the Beastie Boys? Didn't yeah. the Beastie Boys get inducted, was it last year? I think so, Maybe yeah. Before? Yeah. I mean, did you feel the same way? Totally. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's it's weird. Red Hot Chili Peppers, that whole thing too. Um, all right. Do you have any more artists for us, or is that it? Well, it's up to you. Do you have any more time? I, th I think we have time for maybe enough. one more. All right. Let me talk about one more. Yeah, let's round it all up. There's a guy I really like called Borns, but he's got that funny O with the line through it. I don't know what you call that. Osmalt? Osmalt? Oh, no. That's, no, that's the an umlaut. Umlaut. Ozzel Motley is what I'm thinking of. Remember Ozzel Motley? Yes. Uh, uh, no, I don't know what it's called. Guy called you pronounce that? I, I've always seen that word. Umlaut. No, no Umla the two dots, are right? Over, but yeah, this, 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 with the strike. The band I don't know what you call that. I'm gonna call it like it looks like a zero. Yeah. It does, but you but don't put not. a line through a zero, mm -hmm. do you? Nope. What is that? What what language We're is that? It's tricky person. marketing. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, he's this young guy from Michigan originally. He's now based in LA. 
he has a bit of a synth pop um, vibe. Okay. Really, really cool songs, which are he released an EP about a month ago called Candy. And a few of those songs are already popping with our listeners um, mm. in mm. that they've been sh- shared a lot. And right. as we've talked about, popping we is view, an industry term. We view sharing as it's a Shannon term, I think, <laughs> a shimmer shan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as we've talked about, sh- early shares is an, is an indicator to us of right. hit potential. So we've got our eyes on Garrett Bourne's. Cool. Um, and but James Bay, James Bay, the UK Bournes. dude from yeah. So this write it down. This time next year, James Bay, Borns, Lord again. <laughs> she's Lord did have a massive year. She again, did, though. but she's got to follow it up now. She now does. she's got to. She, this is the hardest time in her career. She, it is, she, but, but I think she she's going to. Enough to do it. I think she's going to do it. She's artistic enough, yeah. and she's sophisticated she's enough. She's not going to Adele a out. I don't. Is that what we call that? Adele out? Yeah, I mean, like Adele kind of like, you know, follow that up, man. Make it happen. She did, I thought. Did, Adele are had you talking a, about a different Adele? A second record that like matched. Was great. Yeah? Yes. All right, maybe in Spotify it's fantastic. land. <laughs> what? Give it a listen. What, who else Give had a, a tough time following up with a sophomore record? Most people. Yeah, it's tough. Most people. Very tough. A lot of it pressure It is very tough, board. but I have a feeling Lord might actually... She might pull through. So James Bay, Bourne's at uh, maybe Rory. Lord Rory. I wonder Rory. if um, Ariel is, has heard of Rory. He's an 18-year-old mm. rap artist from Atlanta, and he's interesting because he sings and raps, and he sings as well as he raps. That's cool. He has a really nice singing voice. I like yeah. that. I never um, heard so of Rory. We've, we've, yeah, he said he never heard of him. He's already streaming in really, really high numbers, consistently high um, every week. So. Hmm. Just a few, yeah. Keep an eye on those. Okay. And maybe I'll come back, not in shimmer form, because this is what? This is the last video show? This is, tomorrow is, yeah. Tomorrow is, okay. So thank you for being here for this, though. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. On our video finale week. Um, It's always a pleasure. We've loved having you all these years come on the show. It's been (laughs) awesome. It was nice meeting you. Yeah, Ayaz so says nice hi. Meeting you. No, but uh, Ayaz, his name be, I had to write down here so I wouldn't mispronounce. I wrote it. Shannon on the back of my hand, but you can't see it <laughs> with one end. Sh- did you write Shimmer Shan? I was just going to say Shimmer Shan. I'll write <laughs> so, Shim Shan. So Shim Shan. Shim Shan. You'll be betting now, not to worry, because everyone's come back. Everyone's like, oh, you make it sound like I'm dying or something. Oh, that video is dying for the for the four four. But no. You'll be back uh, when we when we start in 2015 when yeah. we start doing it. Maybe we'll we'll keep you on the same sort of schedule. Great. And were uh, we on a schedule? <laughs> was this a schedule? It was a light schedule. It was an <laughs> it was open a schedule. Schedule. Play schedule. Play by casual schedule. Casual schedule. Um, and thanks again for everything. My we, pleasure. We really appreciate it. Thanks Hope you have a hop, happy holiday and a merry new year. Likewise, and I look forward to um, getting to know your well, meeting your baby. I'm not yes. babysitting, so I'm if not. If you'd like to name him or at least throw your you know, hat into the ring for that sort of thing. Let me know what you got. Born's Bacalar. No, I can't do that. The time. No, that's completely up Lord to you. Lord Bacalar. <laughs> that is a very personal choice. Lord with is it? Oh, yeah. Further. What are your kids' names? Kylie. Kylie and Sky. And Sky. That's What's nice. your son's name? Aldrin. He's Aldrin. A, that's yeah, nice. As in Buzz. The astronaut. Oh, that's cool. It's very cool, right? Yeah. I'm not going to be then able to Then name your kid that. Buzz. No, we can't name a Buzz kid Bacalar. Buzz. Buzz Bacalar. That's oh freaking awesome. Oh my god. I well, like that. Someone told us like an action hero. Someone told us we should name our kid uh, Carlin for George Carlin. I'm like, I don't know Carlin. if that's gonna go over well. People call him Carly. Keep thinking. Or Carl. Keep I, thinking Carl's about too. it. You've got some time. Yeah, Carl. I got a little bit. You but, might not. It might not really come to you until you actually meet the baby. I'll be, yeah, he'll, he'll be born and be like, that looks Buzz. like a Derek. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Derek. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Uh, follow Shannon on Twitter at Shannon Cook with one N. Correct. And uh, we will see you very soon. See you soon. Happy New Year, guys. Happy Same New Year. to you. All right. That'll do it for us. Tomorrow, Steve Guttenberg on the show to finish the last official 404 video show. And, uh, and then next week, we will be airing our video game wraps up with, uh, wrap up with the Giant Bomb guys, and as well as one we're going to record today with the TV Guide editors wrapping up the year in television. So stay tuned for that. 866-404-CNET is the phone number. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, Instagram, and Ello. <laughs> 
And we're, <laughs> we're back here tomorrow with a brand new show. Until what? then, I'm Jeff Bacalar. I'm Isaac Trope with no ends. <laughs> I'm Ariel Nunez. Thanks again to Shimmer Shan. This has been the 404 Show, high tech, low brow. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.